FanHuddle.com. This is Alex. I'm here down in Colonial Heights, Virginia with the one and only Dave Hebner. Uh, Mr. Hebner, how's everything going? Why don't you uh, give the Fan Huddle fans out there a little intro about uh, what you're doing these days and how you're keeping yourself busy. Well, what's your name, Alex? Alex, yes. Alex, okay. Alex, what I'm doing, uh, uh, I'm doing some stuff over in China right now. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not working for WWF or WWE, man. You know, they made a big change, turnover up there. So uh, my brother's working for uh, TNA, right? TNA, which is doing real good, mm -hmm. real good. They're yeah. ready to start to come up. In big growing phase right now. And I think, I think pretty soon, starting every two weeks, they're gonna go live with WWF, mm -hmm. and WWE. Yeah, it's gonna be a live show, which is really TNA is really coming coming up. They are really coming up. They're doing, you know, I guess with Hogan there and Bischoff and. and Flair, they got they got things rolling, and, and it's good, and I'm happy for them, because every I think every sports needs a kind of competition, you know, mm -hmm. you know basketball has competition, uh, football, baseball, well, so we should have competition too. I wish when Vince bought T uh, WCW, he would have had kept two two separate companies, you know, right? Just to have p different people, you know, or at least actually, uh, comp right? Make a real two separate companies right. rather than just the brand right, sport. Right. Then, you got, to then you got good good competition there, you know. But, right. So, but other than that, you know, I, I, we're here at the Colonial Heights School. I, I'm uh, happy to see Rashid come here. Uh, we, we're going to stop. Uh, my partner is Marvin Ward. I guess people heard him. Mm -hmm. He and I get ready to run some shows together here around Richmond, Shaw, uh, Colonial Heights, Petersburg, Savannah, Georgia, and, and all those places because people. People, people want to see the wrestling. Right. Right? You know, it's like maybe here. It hadn't been here in so long. It's it's it's, it's, it's pathetic, you know. But Vince is the man. It's got the, everybody that everybody wants to see. But the people still back in the woods don't get wrestling like they used to. And so when you come here like this, you know, it's great for the people. And again, might be your favorite or wrestler right now or whatever that you came to see. You know? Right. So it's you know we see these little shows here are good. It, you know, keeps people happy. You know? Right. Plus, if you just don't go away there and, and, and uh, just price yourself out, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, things are hard right now. Everybody knows, you know. But they would still s save the dollar to, to come in here and to, to, to rest. You know? Right. Yeah, it's great to have shows like this to keep the uh, the business healthy and alive in areas like this. But now you have a book coming out. Yeah. Are you saying correct? Yes. Uh, what is it on my line? Not my line. On my Facebook. Face. Face. Facebook. Facebook. Nothing but the truth. Nothing but the truth. And that's a big event. So when I went to Vince and asked Vince, can I write a book? He said, you can. He said, but I want you to shoot with it. I don't want any ad lib. And believe me, when you get that book, you'll be coming from the front door right at this back door because you'll love that book. It's nothing but the truth. Great. And so people can pick that up on Facebook, you said? Right. Go on okay. Facebook, and you can find it on Facebook pretty pretty soon to where if you want to order one, uh, it's right there to tell you exactly how to do it. All right, great. And what kind of, any, uh, want to give any sort of sneak previews, any stories that fans might be able to find within there, you know, yeah, from your time in WWE to post-WWE? Yeah, uh, post it's a big deal in the book about uh, my brother screwing up, Brett. You know, it's in the book. You want to read it. Read it. I'm not going to tell anybody about it because I want to sell the book. You know? Right. And really everybody would, would really like to know the whole big deal anyway. And now, uh, one last question with Earl down in TNA. Um, any thoughts of maybe you guys doing the old switcheroo one more time? Well, you know what, fans? You, you never know. You never know yeah. what the heavens are up to do, you know? Yeah. Uh, Earl's son's in there, Brian. I mean, and Earl's in there. Then TNA, I'm not in there right now because I'm doing something else. Mm -hmm. but, uh, you know, you, you really never know. Right. You know, we'll give you, we'll give you a, a, a dollar's worth of your money if you spend it on us. Speaking of the old switcheroo, is there any way you could just, what are your memories of doing that switcheroo in 1988 at the main event? Um, yeah, I'll tell you what, how'd that come about? I mean, that, just. Well, again, you know, I would like to stand here and tell you exactly what happened, but it is so good in the book. It's in the book. You'll find the book, you'll see what, what went on, what happened, the whole script. Perfect. It was uh, unbelievable. Just unbelievable. And they can find that at Facebook.com. Right. 
right. It's nothing but the truth. By nothing but the truth, baby. That's what he wanted. That's what he got. All right, great. Well, Mr. Hebner, thank you so much. Thank you, man. Appreciate it, guys.